right. Well, again, busy Sunday, and it's a nice one to stay inside if you can. <laughs> it's not a nice one. Yeah. It's a nice one to stay inside. No, yeah, not That's a nice a day. Little. A good one, too. And Sundays are the best rainy days, so this is a cozy up on your couch type of morning. Grab your coffee um, because we have got rain on and off throughout the day today. Notice the pavement is wet there in some of our shots from Jinx where the Christmas lights are up. Yesterday morning was the Jinx Christmas Parade. Could not have been better weather for that. And hopefully you were able to spend some time outdoors yesterday. Today, different story. Notice from our downtown shot, we've got some raindrops on the camera there. And as we go throughout the next several hours, we're talking rain. It's been increasing from west to east and across far eastern Oklahoma from Vanita down to uh, the Vanita to Miami area you all have been dry, but this first initial wave will continue shifting north and eastward. So all of us will get in on the rain this morning before some breaks in the rain on the back end. As you can tell, uh, beginning to dry out around the Sepulpa area. We're still dry down around Oak Mulgee, Henrietta, Dakota, and Eufaula, minus a couple of sprinkles and light uh, isolated showers. Now, as we go throughout the morning and afternoon, more widespread rain going to fill on in with even the potential for some thunderstorms this afternoon and evening. So some light rain falling around the Tulsa Metro right now. We did have some moderate rain around the Sperry and Owasso areas. Notice our lightning strike zero. So no convective elements with this. Nothing to be concerned about if you're planning to spend time outside, but that will change some into the afternoon and later evening hours. So our rain timeline, we're talking increasing rain chances into the afternoon. Temperature wise right now, we're upper 40s, low 50s, clouds around the area. And this afternoon temperatures, we're not going to warm up a whole lot with the cloud cover and the rain around the area. Here's some of those breaks before the rain begins to fill back in into the afternoon. Our normal high temperature for this time of year, 60. So we're really close to that today. We'll have upper 50s and low 60s around the area. This second wave moves on out before overnight. We'll be watching for a few of these thunderstorms to have some small hail and some gusty winds with them. So just be advised, we do have a low end, a very low end severe weather risk, but I wouldn't be surprised if we had a severe thunderstorm warning or two. So just be advised about that. Tomorrow morning, showers still around the area, upper 40s, low 50s, a mild start to our morning. Notice the spin with this system. System. Showers lingering throughout our Monday before we clear out into the afternoon and evening with temperatures that are cooler in a gusty northwest wind. So here's our storm zone for tonight. This includes the prior area down to Tahlequah, Muskogee, and westward back into central Oklahoma. Uh, so tonight, Aaron Reeves will be here uh, tracking those storms for you all as they uh, move across our area. For our Monday, rain chances are best in the morning and then decrease as we go throughout the day with some lingering showers into the evening hours. Our holiday travel, no issues. We do have cooler air that will be moving on in, so it'll be more of a jackets week. Sunshine in 50s with a south breeze on Thanksgiving. And our temperature trend, we're actually right at normal for this time of year on Thanksgiving, but some looming off in the distance. Arctic air, a big cold front next weekend. Still a ways out. We're keeping our eye on it for you all. Uh, looking like temperatures will be in the 40s.